Hello, happy Monday. Oh my gosh, it's been so hectic because I started TAing today at 7.30 a.m. I was supposed to be done by like 10, but it went until like 12. And now it's like almost two o'clock and I'm rushing to do my experiment because today I'm checking the concentration. Oh my gosh, my pimples. I'm checking the concentration and the size of my particles that I made last week. And then I'm gonna do a brand new experiment that I've never done before. I'm gonna try the light cells and then do a drug release study. So measuring the size, hopefully all goes well. <laughs> Two hours later. Hello, oh my gosh, it's off. It's 4 p.m. It's just not been a good day. Like, it's just not been a good day. Like, I screwed up my calibration curve to measure the concentration of my nanoparticles, and then that set me back. The ideal plan today was to start my incubation of my nanoparticles in the cell lysate so that I can get my time points every day and like analyze the drug release in the cell lysate. Because TA ink set me back two hours. I was like trying to rush to start everything but then it's already 4 o'clock and even if I successfully lysed my cells for the very first time ever like mechanically I still need to analyze it and like check the protein concentration and then like do the calculations for my nanoparticles and how much I should be incubating it and there's just a lot of like things that can totally go wrong so I was like rushing 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 and then when I finally finished like checking my concentration for my nanoparticles I went to like look on my cells and I'm like what the heck they're not not the right cells what the heck like I, I just passed them on Friday they were fine on Friday I don't know what happened so I was panicking and freaking out I called Pohan and he came and looked at it and he's like oh like the phase of the microscope someone adjusted it so, it's just it's just it's just not a good mindset right now like I'm all over the place I feel like I shouldn't start this experiment otherwise I'll screw it up oh my goodness tomorrow morning I will come in all fresh and I will try to lice myself mechanically but at least today, I was able to check the concentration of my nanoparticles. It happens, things happen, it's fine. I will just be better prepared and well rested tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye bye. <laughs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am here, I am better now, more well rested. Let's get my cells and try to mechanically lice them. I hope I can do this. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go look under the microscope just to be sure. But I think I can see the cells just like floating now. They are definitely detached. Let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah, they're all just swimming and floating right now. Okay, okay. I'm gonna transfer it to a falcon tube and centrifuge it. So I'm gonna take this cell suspension now and take it back to the main lab where our homogenizer is, transfer this to those tubes with those beads in it, and I'll just follow this protocol and let's see. Let's see how it goes. These are the beads. This is the tube. transferred it to this tube here. It's like a cloudy mixture, so I think that's good. But I'm gonna go use the nano drop in the other lab. Check the protein concentration. I'll talk to you later. I'll figure this out and I'll update you later. Bye. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm going to go check my samples. Today is a big day. I'm going to run this on the UPLC. Let's go. I don't even know if I remember how to run the UPLC, so we're gonna figure this out. Okay. Oh my, I don't know what's going on. I can't turn on the UPLC. Okay, I'm just gonna restart the computer. Yeah, yesterday I was trying to figure out how to lice the cells and like analyze the protein concentration and sort out how much of 
those cell lights that I should be incubating with my nanoparticles. Literature search was not helpful at all because like people weren't reporting the concentration of protein of the cell lights that they were using. I just chose a concentration and incubated it so for time zero and for three hours those are the samples that i'm analyzing or going to be analyzing if this uplc works today so there's a very high chance that i'll have to repeat this with different cell lysate concentration this is the first time i'm doing something like this we shall see and i'll keep you updated Hello, hello, happy Thursday. I'm back in the UPLC room because I'm running my drug release samples for the 24 hour time point from yesterday. So the instrument is just getting equilibrated right now. I'm like kind of rushing to do this so I can get it running because Noju needs it after her permission to write meeting. I want to put in my samples and then run upstairs and wish her luck because the meeting is at 10 a.m. It is 9.15 a.m. right now. I'm I'm gonna go check on my samples now because they are sonicating and then after I submit these samples we can go upstairs and wish no Jude good luck together so see you see you see you in a bit oh she's not here yet what the heck I just saw her okay let's just stay here oh my gosh I'm trying to catch my breath. I was like running up here. It's 9.28 a.m. and I'm here before she is. I actually just saw her like walking to the building. So I think she'll be here in a few minutes and then we can surprise her. I'm gonna set you right here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think she can tell if it's recording. I don't know why I make such a big deal out of this. I'm very excited for her. Okay, I'm just put it here. She has arrived. She is ready. She's going to nail this. What time is it? 9.40. In like 20 minutes. Yeah. How are you feeling? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? She's going to be fine. She's going to be better than fine. Permission to ride. We will update you in an hour and 20 minutes. Bye. It's actually on time. <laughs> Alright, oh, oh, guess who got permission to ride? Oh, why are you only wearing one glove? I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go oh. to the other room. So badass. We already knew this for five hours now, but I forgot to update. How do you feel? I feel good. Can you not? <laughs> Good question mark or good exclama exclamation mark? Why question mark? Because you said good? Good question mark. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. No, good, good, dot. Good, good dot. Period. No exclamation mark, good. Okay, that's the update for today. Goodbye. Hello, hello, happy Friday. I feel like I've been sitting here all week. I think I have been sitting here all week. I've just been analyzing my data as I run the samples for the drug release, and I don't know. Something wonky is happening as per usual and it looks like I'm going to be here tomorrow to get the last time point and to run today's time point on the UPLC. Hello, happy Saturday, I am here again. <laughs> oh, there's just so much going on. I don't know how to like explain. So let me just do my experiment and think about what I want to say. So yeah, I'm here to do a drug release time point because I'm running samples on the UPLC right now too to get the data. I'm figuring out whether or not I should continue with the study or if I should just stop the study because I just need to know if it's working or not. Because uh, if it's working, then I'll repeat the study. But if it's not working, then I need to focus on writing. <sighs> okay, let me just deal with these samples and then, and then we can talk. Hello, I am in the grad lounge because <laughs> I needed to cool down a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. 
So basically, since we got the rejection letter from that manuscript, the boss and I decided to, you know, sit down and see which experiments I can do to really boost up the strength of my papers. So my second and third research papers. So we decided on like two experiments I can do. One experiment is to image the particles and another experiment is to do drug release and cell lysate. Because my mind is in such like a tight deadline, I have been making mistakes and doing things that I wouldn't normally do if I had like more time and I wasn't rushing. This whole week of work was just gone to waste down the drain because I can't use any of this data. Why am I in such a deadline? Like I have to, I think I have to first explain this. I'm in this time crunch because this coming Monday, I'm starting my part-time internship at the company that I will be working full-time in January. We came to this agreement with my committee members and with the boss that I can finish right up my thesis and submit it before January so during this writing period I can do like two days internship with the company to kind of like get myself oriented and stuff and still have time to work on my thesis we made that decision before my paper got rejected before I found out I had to do these experiments here is my priority now I'm going to get over these failed experiments this weekend. Just let it go. It's fine. It's fine. This is a learning moment for me. It's fine. After I recover this weekend and I start my internship on Monday. So Monday and Tuesday, I'm at the company. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I can write. So I will focus on writing because I need to submit my thesis to the committee by mid January. If I just focus on writing, I'll be fine. Submitting my papers can come after and any additional experiments I can work with the boss after, but I need to make these deadlines. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm going to go back to the lab and deal with the reality of my failed experiment. Well, okay, I might have freaked out too soon. It might be fine. It might be fine because I just finished analyzing the data on the UPLC. It might be fine. I think I just need to go home and calm down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I just need to go home and calm down. I'll check in with you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.